wheat is the most widely grown food crop in the world. So what if we could use its chemistry to do more than simply feed ourselves? Wheat stores the energy produced by photosynthesis in the form of starch, and every grain contains nearly 60% starch. Starch is a polysaccharide carbohydrate, essentially a long chain of glucose units. It's what causes flour to have the consistency of paste when wet, and as a result, flour is used as a thickening agent. But did you ever think your bread flour could be transformed into plastic? Here at MGP Ingredients Technology and Innovation Center, they have dug into the treasure chest of wheat's chemistry and found opportunity. They call it TerraTech resin. It's probably fair to say that wheat starch has been overlooked a bit. Our objective is, is to develop bioplastics which will run on existing technology and existing equipment. And that's been a bit of a challenge, but we've made huge progress. Wheat starch and protein are extracted from flour through a washing process and then dried. The starch is then combined with a secondary polymer ingredient. During an extrusion or shaping process, a chemical reaction occurs binding these ingredients together. The end result is a biodegradable polymer resin produced in the form of small pellets. These pellets can be molded into products like credit cards, cutlery, and golf tees. But unlike conventional plastic, this wheat plastic is 100% biodegradable. And it's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to new uses for wheat. What about a new way of looking at food? Wheat is unique in that it has glidins and glutenins and those two components form vital wheat gluten and that is very unique in the protein world. Unique because vital wheat gluten, that stuff that holds the grain together, is elastic. It has a consistency like no other protein. It's also tasteless and it has a texture that surprisingly looks like meat. So is it a chicken nugget or is it wheat? MGP Ingredients open the door to a new food market that uses textured wheat proteins instead of meat. They call it Wheatex. Well, Wheatex is a very unique in the properties of looking like real meat. So when you take the product and you pull it apart and you look at it, it has myofibrils or strands that look like true whole meat muscle products. And those characteristics directly come from the wheat gluten itself. This test kitchen is where wheat tastes like sausages, pepperoni, or even crab cakes, since all are made with some percentage of wheat. The other unique property of being able to use wheat gluten in texture proteins is being able to manipulate the texture of the product. Who's the customer for fake meat? Meat eaters who want a little less cholesterol in their diet. Vegetarians and manufacturers who want to keep cost manageable. Wheat as meat, or Wheatex, could be the answer. Yet as far as the humble wheat kernel has come, creative and scientific advancement doesn't stop. We don't know everything there is to know about wheat. We're always innovating, always finding new properties and new applications every day. And MGP Ingredients isn't the only company exploiting the pliability of wheat's chemistry. Environ Biocomposites has gone where few have ventured, not to the grain, but to the straw. Tough, strong, light, and plentiful, wheat straw has traditionally been treated as a useless byproduct. But now it's the revolutionary ingredient for new building materials. The fibrous part of this wheat straw, you notice, it's fairly strong. So it does have certain, certain inherent structural properties that other particle, particles would not have. The torsional or longitudinal strength of wheat straw, you can see what I'm doing here, you can actually tug on it pretty well, and that's, that's that strong, solid fiber. Named biofiber wheat, this sturdy offering is both an aesthetic and functional alternative to traditional hardwood or particle board products. If you get particle board wet, it swells. But if I get the wheat board wet, it swells only one third as much. So it's going to be much more dense. It's not going to swell as much. And at the end of the day, you have a non-formaldehyde ingredient 
In wood-based particle board, carcinogenic formaldehyde is the binder that keeps it all together. But with biofiber wheat, Environ uses a urethane-based resin that keeps performance high and the customer safe. Wheat straw is trucked into Environ's Minnesota factory from across North America and Canada in bales weighing 1,250 pounds, which also happens to be the average weight of a dairy cow. After inspection for rot and any garbage, the wheat straw enters the first machine on the line where it's gnawed into small fibers. We blend it with a resin. It's a formaldehyde-free resin that we run through the system. You get a core and a surface. We have something called a three-layer former that lays down the bottom, the middle, and then the top. So you get two surfaces and you get a core. This layering technique improves durability and strength for cabinets, furniture, or floors, even for wheat doors. But perhaps most intriguingly, Environ's manufacture of biofiber wheat creates a negative carbon footprint according to the U.S. Department of Agriculture. This is just another reason that there's growing interest in wheat beyond its value as food.